sticks pretty good. But we needed a bigger contact patch, contact points within each diagonal fuzzy sticky hook and loop. So we created the next, the medium, at a sharper angle. <laughs> I know this sounds ridiculous, but this is what I've constructed so far. It's a little rudimentary and crude, but I cut the hole in the so we can get the idea of what I want to have done, which is pulled it back like that onto itself so that nobody can grapple that off. That's going to be the idea, and I think that's going to be the prototype. Pretty bad though. Up here, but here's another idea, and I sewed this together with the little clip in place here. Maybe this through there, and then finally got the pre-tied knot. So the Velcro there should attach to there, and the pre-tied knot almost perfect now. So that will work like that. This will go back on itself like this, hopefully. All different sizes of waists, and then that should be grapple strong and. Um, and then add the pre-tied knot on the front, like that. We're getting there. You're gonna laugh. This is my next incarnation of the belt. I got uh, some suggestions from some uh, belt maker friends of mine that said, oh, just use a loop. So I cut apart my own blue belt. Um, and this didn't work great, but it's an idea, putting a loop like that. And then back on itself like that so that the loop is right there ta-da like that but I don't think that'll fly it's elastic and you can't use plastic in judo or jiu-jitsu or anything so my horrible sewing job right there but at least it gives me the idea if it's gonna work and making the pre-tied knot has proved to be a lot more difficult than expected getting the stitching in the right spot so Back to the drawing board. It's kind of looking like a belt now. Finally got the pre-tied knot working and attached. My terrible sewing job here. But the only problem now is fuzzy not meeting sticky and sticky not meeting fuzzy. Even when it meets like that, you end up with a large gap there. So that isn't gonna work either. So, and if I tie it tight, fuzzy meets fuzzy so it doesn't stick. Or sticky meets sticky, it doesn't stick. But it's getting there. Once I can figure that out, flip it, that's going to be the key. Also, I'm going to make the tab short so little, little fingers of kids that are starting can figure out how to tab over and flip over. But it's almost looking like a belt. Back to the drawing board. Go. So this is approximately a couple of years of going through all this, but I'm having fun trying to figure it all out. Uh, even developed a brand new... Um, form of Velcro throughout the process, crosshatch I call it, and uh, the prototype is getting there which is good. This time I tried for seeing if we could do big long length for, for almost any size body and it's getting there as well. The pre-tied knot is good in place and we've got the loop working good, the fastening system works and I've grappled with a uh, belt quite a few times at judo and it works and uh, it's tough and you can't get it off no matter how much grappling you do. The only thing I see is the tab is a bit long and I need to make the Velcro here to the sticky anyways right to the edges and make an arrow form right there. Just came down from the shop and got some good news. Um, today's mail the patent came through, so that's really exciting. I'm pretty excited about that. It's official and on paper, so the patent's done. And the other day we came up with a name. It's the Never Tie Belt, or the Never Tie Martial Arts Belt. Just gonna come up with a nice logo for the patch here. And came up with a nice little system to ease the um, tiny finger dexterity problem. So now with the gap widened and the fuzzy and sticky where it is now, and the hook and loop fastening system in behind there, super easy for even a two three year old in the tiny tots class to get the belt on and ease the frustrations for the parents trying to get their belts on and get them ready for class and ease the frustration of the instructors not just getting them ready for class but all the belts falling off and them spending time te good valuable teaching time having to uh, tie belts over and over so i've been testing it um little kids classes taekwondo karate 
um, judo, jiu-jitsu, and so far everybody loves it. So I'm hoping beyond hope that everybody everywhere loves it. And yeah, next stage, Manufacturer Overseas is gonna work out the colors and the stripe configurations for all the different dis disciplines. And I'm excited about that and gonna be ordering in more bulk orders next in time for hopefully the end of the year, the launch. Exciting day today, I got a logo. NTB Fight Gear, stands for NTB, Never Tie Belt. And I got a purple belt made. BJJ, I'm a purple belt. And uh, Judo, I'm a black belt. So I have a black belt made as well. And you can see the quality, the label. And we've got all the size chart finished now. We got the black cloth put on for BJJ belts. It's definitely coming along. We got the right size gap. We got the right size fuzzy and sticky now so that it sticks. We got all the size charts for each size measurement. So we're working all that out and I'm just happy we got a logo. Hey, it's Kathy Hubble here. Every martial arts instructor around the world, including myself, has the same problem with their students, their messy belts. Just like this, they come disheveled for class or within one minute of class or a couple minutes of class, the belt has fallen off. We as instructors spend half of the class tying belts, not instructing class. Been trying to figure out a solution for this problem for decades. Hence, the never tie martial arts belt. Simply insert the end, secure where needed, Anybody from three years old and up can do it, or their parents. And it always looks good and it cannot come off during a class.